If we go to stage five, finally we're going to use the word dementia. It's a severity rating. This means the person is now failing to remember maybe where they are in place or time. You give them the screening test and they're scoring 23 or below out of 30. Often because of short-term memory points, which are where are you in place, where are you in time. And Apple Table Penny, spell the word world backwards, what are the words? Now that's starting to become a problem. In stage four, often people do well, they study for it. In stage three, if you, I'm sorry, stage five, you study for it, you still don't do well. I mean, it's an interesting change. An early dementia can last five years. This can last a very long time. How many people would place somebody, using that term, in an early dementia? You don't, usually. That's not where people often think of placement. Because as long as someone lives with them, they do quite well. That's not where the struggle is coming. It says it progresses further into stage five, and what we're going to talk about is stage six. Because a dementia has multi facets to it, it's not only short term memory loss, it's also changes in one or more of the following things <laughs> reasoning, figuring stuff out. The plumber that can't plumb anymore, the electrician that can't wire anymore, the speaker who can't speak anymore. Disorientation, getting up in the middle of the night not knowing where you are. In the middle of the day not knowing where you are. Difficulty with language. Have you noticed as you progress, it's like you got to work so hard to understand what they're saying because there's so many indirect speech patterns. <laughs> Pronouns disappear. Empty speech starts. Talk about the barn. You're playing 20 questions every time you find something out. Poor concentration. They lose track of things all the time because they can't hold together short term memory. You know, if you read, you assume you can remember three paragraphs earlier so you can bridge it together. That's what's disappearing. Short term memory. Difficulty with spatial relationships. Poor judgment. I'm sure that many of you recognize all these things. Personality change. And everybody says, when they get nasty, well, some people get nice. <laughs> it's not always getting nasty. It depends again on how it unfolds. It's complex, it's different. Not everybody changes their personality. Delusional thinking. You know, you're the wife or the husband of 50 years. You sit down and undress to go to bed. They go, what are you doing? Who are you? Or you're having an affair. Or they lose the checkbook and it's who stole it. You show it to them and they put it back. Delusional thinking. But not in the psychotic sense when we think about it with psychopathology, it's really quite different. Changing sexuality. Sometimes down, sometimes up. I mean, it goes in all kinds of directions. And we often don't talk about that, but that can become quite a stress, depending upon your relationship with the person and where things are. Diminished coordination. Often people don't think about it with Alzheimer's, but one of the things that predicts for some people that they're going to have memory decline is they become more unsteady on their feet as the first symptom. It's not linear, it's subtle, it's multifaceted. Diminished sense of taste or smell, which can be critical if you have a gas range. 